race 10 of the 2015 season marked a return to Canada's home for motorsports. A 450-acre piece of property located north of Bowmanville, Ontario. The Clarington 200, presented by Pinty's, is a 51-lap race on one of North America's most exciting and technical circuits, Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Jeff Lapsevich was not in the points mix, but he still had this race circled on his calendar. Like, I, I think I'm more competitive now at 45 than I was at 35. As much fun as I enjoy racing myself, um, it's nowhere near as much fun as watching the boys do it. The time had come for Lapsevich to hand his racing family torch over to 15-year-old Caden, one of his country's most promising rising stars. And we're underway here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Andrew Ranger started the weekend with a huge boost to his championship hopes. The 28-year-old set a new track record while scoring his 17th career pole in his number 27 Mopar machine. At Mosport, the goal is to run hard early to build up a gap, then settle into a rhythm for the long haul. Matthew Scannell was accomplishing that nicely as he found his way around championship contender Jason Hathaway. LP Dumoulin followed as did Kevin Quatris in the TSC stores number 87 Ford. As the season drew to a close, the Trans Am driver found he was getting used to his new stock car home. You know, this is a very competitive series, a great bunch of guys, and, and it's, a, it's a blast to, to drive, really, in this series. On lap 16, Kevin Lacroix put a move on Ranger for the lead at the top of the Andretti straightaway. The quiet and confident Lacroix has been working hard to build a name for himself and step out of the shadows of the seemingly endless comparisons to Ranger. When I came to NASCAR, everybody uh, how much behind of Andrew you're going to be, and uh, everybody's comparing uh, you know, me to Andrew, and uh, you know, do you expect to be close to Andrew? No, I'm not close, I'm ahead of him, so it's, uh, it's special. I didn't expect to be, uh, to be ahead of him, and it's a good feeling. With pit strategy playing out, the 56 of Matthew Scannell held the point briefly before succumbing to a blown motor. Uh, yeah, when I was leading, it was a lot of fun. A little bit nerve-wracking, but it was awesome. The number 18 EpiPen Chevrolet held the lead for 10 laps before a hard-charging and determined Jeff Lapsovich worked his way past through turns three and four. The two road course warriors share a desire to compete and win that has not faded over time. Their fierce competitiveness led to a full-on throwdown that played out all the way around this 3.9-kilometer, 10-turn circuit. I ran him down. I followed him. He made he made several mistakes, and I you know I showed him a lot of respect. I thought, um, never touched him. I passed him clean. The minute I did, he, he you know he raided me in turn five, and then on, on the ensuing restart, he he put two wheels in the dirt and drove me in the door. When the door opened going into three, and I went alongside of him. I mean, he decided to go grab the apex, but I was there, so I go over the curb to try to give him as much room as possible. And then we, I mean, my wheel is out, his wheel is out. We, we, we touch, yes, we touch, but you have a car on the inside of you, fully inside of you, side by side. And then, you know, he slides a little bit. I mean, give me the respect to go and try to make a pass. You know, it would have been really easy for me to just you know, take him out, you know, like, and I don't drive like that. As Lapsovich and Tagliani regained their composure, the number 47 WeatherTech Dodge of LP Dumoulin snapped the lead away on lap 42. Dumoulin held the point until a final restart when all hell broke loose. The 76 car of Lapsovich was lined up behind Tagliani when the final green flag waved. They got into each other, causing everyone to scramble. For him to be pissed enough, to go outside of turn one and drill me, you know, and I lost like eight position. All right, good for him, you know, I mean, it's, I'll take it. You know, it's not gonna change my life. Um, I don't know whether he spun his wheels or not. I know I had a pretty good restart and, um, uh, you know, we got to him going into one and, and uh, I showed him the same respect he, he showed me. As the smoke cleared on the tussle between Lapsovich and Tagliani, Dumoulin developed his own troubles up front. My guy called me on the radio, clear by two, three, marvelous. So I'm like, perfect, I'm gonna get in two really smooth, and I'm gonna really have a good lead afterwards, you know? I don't need to push it hard here. I'm first, everything's good. As I get in corner two, I was having a slow leak on my rear right tire. So I got in corner two and the car got loose. 
No way did I think I was going to pass him off at two, clear him into three, and pull away four car lengths. Hathaway and the Team 3 red entry held steady for the remaining three laps, earning him his seventh career win in 108 starts. It was the biggest win of his career, an emotional team effort. That's what happened. I turned into a road racer with three to go, and we ended up winning, so um, huge win. You know, to win on a road course with the talent we have, and everybody gets pretty big. Hathaway's late race victory, along with Rangers' sixth place finish, plus the bonus point structure, left the two drivers tied in the championship race. Just nine points behind Steckley with one race to go. A long wait and some restless nights awaited the drivers and teams as they endured three weeks off before heading for the season finale at Kawartha Speedway. Fall was in the air as the paddock unloaded for the final time in 2015, and the winners of three different titles waited to be crowned. Scott Steckley had already secured the owner's championship. The Jostens Rookie of the Year was set to be decided with Gary Clute holding a slim lead over Marc Antoine Cameron. Then there was the battle for the overall Drivers' Championship. Three of the series' most seasoned veterans, Steckley, Hathaway, and Ranger, were separated by just nine points. As the green flag fell under the lights at Kawartha Speedway, Steckley grabbed the all-important bonus point for taking the lead. He held the top spot for the first 47 laps. While Andrew Ranger struggled further back in the field, Jason Hathaway surged past points rival Steckley to take command on lap 48. Steckley was content to run in second place behind Hathaway and continue to tick off laps. The three-time champion knew all he had to do to earn a record-setting fourth title was stay out of trouble and finish inside the top five. Gary Clute in the number 59 also ran a big picture race. The 23-year-old driver from Halton Hills, Ontario, pulled together a win and seven top 10 finishes in 2015. He topped it all off with a finish at Kawartha that put him two points ahead of rival Marc-Antoine Cameron to claim the Justin's Rookie of the Year award. Jason Hathaway and his EHR crew gave their last ditch charge for the title everything they had. They led the most laps on the way to winning the Pinty's 250, but their success alone wasn't enough. They needed Steckley to falter, and Steckley and the 22 team refused. Their points lead put them in a position to win it all by keeping cool heads and staying out of trouble. While a lesser driver might not have been able to settle for second place, Steckley did exactly that, proving his right to the title of champion. By the time it was over, the 43-year-old from Milverton, Ontario, a small hamlet deep in farm country, had put together a dream season. Four poles, three wins, and seven top fives led him to the honor of hoisting the most coveted trophy in all of Canadian motorsports. The NASCAR Canadian Tire Series is one of the most diverse and challenging racing championships in North America. And the depth of talent throughout the field is incomparable. Whether it's on tight street circuits, high-speed ovals, or world-renowned road courses, Canada's homegrown brand of NASCAR racing unfailingly delivers thrilling action and high-octane performance for fans from coast to coast. Congratulations to Scott Steckley and his entire number 22 Canadian Tire Racing Team on securing their fourth championship. I'm Dave Moody. On behalf of our NASCAR on TSN team, thanks for watching the 2015 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series Year in Review.